A warm welcome and thank you for joining us on the newsroom. I am Fulashadi Ogrindi. The Lagos State House of Assembly on Thursday passed the state's value-added tax bill to transmit to clean copy to Governor Babajide Stonwulu to assent to the bill. The House also passed a bill that uh, prohibits open, uh, open cattle grazing in the state. The Speaker of the State House, Mudashiro Basa, therefore directed the acting clerk, Olaleko Onafeko, to send a copy to Governor Stonwulu for further action. The two bills were passed after unanimous votes by the lawmakers at a sitting where they were read for the third time. Our President Mohamed Ubari has promised to assist the Governor of the Imo State, Hope Uzodima, deal with infrastructural deficits of the state. The President also assured that he would wield his power as the President to deal with security breaches in the state. Buhari who spoke while commissioning the Egeada Onicha Bypass Road in Uweri said that he was impressed with the level of development in the state. He said that no society would make any meaningful progress in the face of its insecurity and infrastructural deficits. The All Progressives Congress Caretaker Committee in Lagos State says parallel congresses by aggrieved groups will not affect the party in future elections. APC Caretaker Committee Chairman in Lagos, Tunde Balogun, disclosed this on Thursday in an interview with newsmen. Parallel Congresses through the APC Nationwide Word and Local Government Congresses in Lagos State held on July 31 and September 4, respectively. A Nigerian Wednesday recorded 559 COVID-19 cases, raising the country's infection toll to 197,046. According to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, the fresh infections were reported across 14 states and the Federal Capital Territory, SCT. Lagos, the epicenter of the pandemic, recorded 232 positive samples, followed by Rivers and Inugu with 83 and 66 cases, respectively. And meanwhile, five persons succumbed to the virus, bringing the total casualty figure to 2,578. The Department of Petroleum Resources has said the federal government will promote active exploration for new oil and gas resources in the country as it seeks to ramp up reserves to 50 billion barrels. The DPR noted it had identified six pillars critical to its strategy for maximum economic recovery for Nigeria's oil and gas industry. According to the DPR director Saki Awolu, uh, this would help protect investments, business continuity and sustainability improve collaboration and cost reduction in the industry. On the foreign scene, Uganda's President Yoweri Museveni has threatened to withdraw the country's troops from the African Union's uh, peacekeeping mission in Somalia. He issued a warning following an escalating role between Somalia's President and Prime Minister. Uh, President Museveni made a similar threat in 2011 to push Somali leaders to resolve their differences. Nigeria bounced back from their opening defeat to Tunisia to beat South Sudan 3-0 in the second match at the ongoing 2021 CAF B African Volleyball Nations Cup in Rwanda. It was a must-win game for Usman Abdullah's side who on Tuesday lost 3-0 to 10-time champions Tunisia. Abdullah, however, hailed his team's experience and tenacity despite the physical attributes of their opponents. The victory now puts Nigeria in a good position ahead of their last pool game. And to wrap on our update at this hour, thank you for watching. I am Fola Shadi, or Green Day. Bye for now.